Aaron Clark Shears of the Church of God Club. Thank you so much for thinking about me. 
amongst all of the laborers in the house who thought about me. Um, God bless my assistant. Uh, can you have my glasses so I can continue my task? God bless you. I am so glad to see you, my brothers and my sisters. Oh, yeah, the Kojic family around here. I feel all right. I feel all right. God bless these men of God. God bless you, Sister to the Bush. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. All of you, I see you. Oh, my goodness, my sisters. And what can I say about, oh, Mother Stone, the supervisor of, uh, what is it, uh, Indiana the First Jurisdiction? Oh, let's appreciate it. Get that correct because not only does she wear the hat of a, of a supervisor in Indianapolis, but in Indiana, oh my goodness, she is a national worker that works beside our national supervisor, Mother Lewis. So we gotta give her some honor up in here because she represents our supervisor. And listen, I'm telling you, this is the one, I see why she, where she is. Because she represents mother very well. Thank you for teaching us, mother. Thank you. And we sat there and talked about, we could just talk all night about back in the day, you and that and everything that Maureen brought up. God bless you, evangelist. I just want to say I love you and God bless you, woman of God, Tennessee. God bless, I see Sister Loretta, God bless you, I'm gonna just wave at you. I love you so much, and yes, Maureen, yes, Evangelist Maureen. Yes, she was in my house, yeah. Yes, she was, she was, uh, <laughs> she was. She was a great supporter, and she undergirded me. And you cannot forget the bridges that help you get old. Can't forget. Can't forget. You know I'll talk about you later, but thank you. I said thank you. Thank you for those years of encouragement when you called me. I appreciate you, all of the beautiful women of God. I honor you. And to I see my brother Rodney, God bless you. Oh, I'm so just glad to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. Amen. And I'm glad to stand here as uh, just a little old first lady from Greater Emmanuel, uh, Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God of Christ. And I am honored to be the wife of the presiding bishop. I honor my husband, Bishop Jacob Shea, and my pastor. God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to go to the word of the Lord. Is that all right? I want you to be encouraged, Pastor Jones, by this word. This is what I come for. We come to worship the Lord because without the word of God, we can't eat daily, spiritually. We need the word, amen? I'll tell somebody, I need the word. I need the word. I need the word. I need the word. Go with me to Matthews. Matthews, the 14th chapter and 23rd, and then we're going to do 24th and the 26th and 27th verse. Matthew 14. More, Matthew 14. While you're going there, there's a song of praise on my lips that I just honor the Lord. It's, and it says, Oh Lord, we praise your name. And, oh Lord, we bless your name. And we lift our voices to say, thank you.
worship and praise. How he allowed us to survive. I get my nose on my side. That's why I come to praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthews, the 14th and 14th chapter and the 23rd verse. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, be of good cheer, it is I, it is I, be of good cheer. Pastor Jones, first lady, be of good cheer. People of God, be of good cheer. God said, it is me, it's me, it's me, it's me working on your behalf. Be of good cheer and be not afraid. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. I'm here, God, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to stand here. To stand here. To stand here. To tell you, to tell you be, not be not afraid. So now I want you to help me uh, just quote my subtopic. Uh -huh. When Jesus overruled an out of control forecast. When Jesus overruled an out of control forecast. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if there's anything out of control in your life, you're going to be all right because Jesus is going to overrule it. And can I just put it in the atmosphere? I said, Jesus is going to, oh, you ought to put a praise on that. Some of y'all born out of some out of control situations, but tell somebody, Jesus is about to. If he predicts dark darkness and fear, tell him the Lord is my light. You got to learn how to throw the word in his face and say the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear and whom shall I be afraid? Because the Lord is the strength of my life. Oh, and then as you go to that next